Hey guys, it's Baldi and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to kill scavs easy on shoreline. Now for upcoming tasks, you're gonna have to have a lot of knowledge of this map. Sometimes you're gonna have to do some headshots with some scavs or other times you're gonna have to go ahead and do with peacekeeper missions wearing a blueberry outfit. All right, and before we start off and continue off, I just wanted to say, you know, I really appreciate you guys clicking on this video and a like and a subscribe would mean the world to me. I'm also streaming on Twitch. You could go ahead and give me a follow there. The wipe is coming soon. So we're gonna be streaming a lot on the day of the wipe. Right now it is June 20th. The wipe is hopefully gonna happen sometime this week because right now june 20th is the very first uh pre-wipe events and then we're gonna continue on hopefully soon by thursday or maybe this weekend with the actual wipe so i'm gonna be live there and go ahead and check me out there and you know follow along i appreciate it now before we begin we're gonna go ahead and continue off to my favorite thing on this game map genie it's a third party application that you can use on a second monitor or your phone i've already beat this like a dead horse you guys know i love this application all right guys this is map genie so we're, all you're gonna do is google map genie tarkov and then this should pop up here okay again this is a really great map it does a lot of quest tools for you some map locations for you it's great i'm not going to go ahead and go off on this video about this uh about this map but go ahead follow along here we're going to go to shoreline scav scav sniper we are not going to go inside of the resort okay all right guys I just wanted to make sure and double check for you real quick but yes this is going to be north east south and west okay primarily gonna spawn in on the west side or the east side so what i would do guys is just honestly push left and if you spawn west push right now once you get a hang of the map you could actually do a rotation i'm going to show you one rotation here because it'd be a long video if i show you multiple locations okay but today we're going to show you where we're spawning on the west side of the map i'm not going to show you a full run through or, or there's a different location i'm going to kind of show you a, a decent route to take okay it might not be the best route it might not be the route that you preferably want to take but once you get a hang of this game you'll you'll quickly understand okay i'm just trying to show you the, the spawn points of this location we're going to start off here on the west of the map and we're going to show you one out of 15 is going to be right here the thing you want to worry about is these scavs are buried in, in trees and a big old rock okay so once you get to the location with the big old rock you're going to kind of know where you're at but also the scavs are kind of dangerous here probably one of the most dangerous spots honestly for me at least because they're all in the trees and they're kind of hiding there they'll do their little verbiage yell at you and then you you kind of don't know where they're at so you, you know i panic a little bit here and there but once you get the hang of it you kind of just take it slow sometimes they run at you just run straight at you so i mean it just depends on, on the rng so spot number one is here spot number two is going to be across this hill here right 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 here there's going to be a little truck i call it truck scav spot or truck spot right here is going to be basically two uh, i've seen three sometimes scavs that run around here and there's no cover all right there's a little bit of concealment here and there a few very very few cover spots but for the most part it's kind of out in the open so if you're a quick good shot you can kill those scavs easy but sometimes scavs have the rng thing where they kind of just go crazy all right now spot number three is going to be right here it's going to be scav sniper rocks now sniper rock has typically one scav on the bottom right next to this little hut and on top of that rock is two sniper scavs now they don't always spawn there uh the bottom one doesn't spawn there sometimes and the top two usually spawn there always from what i've put up from what i've known they've always spawned there so it could be two to three after here we're gonna go we're gonna come back down south all the way right hugging this this line here on these rocks coming down and we're gonna peek here to see if we can shoot any scavs down this way but more importantly we want to shoot these scavs down here because we're gonna have a little hill advantage cover behind some rocks take some shots and usually there's you know anywhere from one to three scavs in this area next location is after we check this area out, we're going to move up check on this side if there's any scavs running around here usually i i wouldn't come to this spot unless if it's late or you're one of the first ones there because it's going to be pvp hell here honestly this is the pvp spot so i would kind of avoid it if you if you're just here for scavs and that's your main goal because the main goal is to stay alive after this spot here you're going to move down here to some trees right next to your left should be a, a little water dump area like a, a canal straight shot of water all the way out to the ocean but you're gonna follow this all the way here until you see a little uh, water treatment plant or water area or whatever you want to call it we call it water treatment when we come here there's gonna be either one to two scavs on the roof you can take them out easily or you can find one to three scavs on the bottom this is also highly pvp area and the reason for that is because people come here for one it's it's filled with scavs or two it's in the middle of the map and everybody's trying to crumb across or three people are trying to get to resort as fast as they can so they'll come here check this area first and then move up if they're spawning them from this side all right so it's kind of a danger spot i would hide in the bush take your shots here and there and then just bounce out after here now we're gonna come all the way across to sanitar's house now sanitar is one of the main bosses of shoreline so he does come with two to three bodyguards and then sanitar alone sanitar is hard to kill because you think there's a lot of tree line here a lot of bushes you'll try to creep up there 
take your shots in the bush because you're concealed. The the AIs can see right through that, so they'll just gun you down instantly. You want to probably rush to the fence line, get into the fence yard, and battle out there. You want to be careful with Sanitar, though, because he is the medic of the uh, scav bosses. So he will literally eat shots, go behind a corner, heal up, and then come back and get you again. So he, he he's very, very potent. After here, we're going to go all the way down to Village. Now, Village, this is one of, honestly, the weakest scav spots here. Because of the uh, new extract from Path to Lighthouse, there's honestly no point in you coming through Village anymore, except if you're going to hunt for keys. A lot, of jackets, a lot of jackets in this area so you can hunt for keys pretty easily. So unless if you're coming back this way and you're coming to Scav Island to hunt some scavs and then, you know, maybe you might want to take the tunnel spot. But if you're coming out from this side of the map, there's no reason for you to come to village just for that one scav. I would just bail out here. So this is probably one of the weakest scav spots, honestly. You might want to ignore it. But again, if you're traversing through here um, in this area, you might want to take a look. But honestly, if you're coming from this area, I would just extract. Coming from this area, I would extract. I wouldn't even try to risk going here just for one scav because... Typically, I've only seen one scav here. Spot number nine is going to be right here to tunnel extract. There's usually one or two scavs along this way. Take them out quickly and then move on to this foliage here to spot number 10. Spot number 10 is going to be a scav island. You want to be careful here because a lot of PMCs do like to tend to hunt this when they're coming here. So, you know, just tread carefully. It's not as bad as, as any of the other spots because these are only one or two scavs that spawn here. Middle of the wipe, though. There's some tasks. There's a one task that has to be done here. So people will wait here for the shooter born in heaven to take you out. So it is somewhat dangerous uh, mid wipe. Bot number 11 is going to be right here. It's going to be spine. We call it spine because just like in woods, uh, it looks like a bunch of rocks that kind of like shape into a spine. So it comes like this. Um, I've only seen like one scav out here. Again, it's more of a traversing scav. I wouldn't come here specifically to hunt it, but I would just come here if you're coming across the way, just check. Coming to number 12 is going to be here gas station. The issue with gas stations, I'm going to tell you this, is that it is one of the second most highly contested spots. And a lot of people might, might argue with me and say that this is going to be the next most highly contested spot. I always have to say for this one for sure, because a lot of people here are not only hunting the scavs, but they're trying to get the shooter born in heaven down from this section. So they'll hide this tree line here and then shoot anybody that comes into gas or anybody coming to boathouse or spot number 13. All right. So I would, I would have to say, especially midwipe, this is going to be the most highly, second most highly contested spot in the area. A lot of PvP happens here. Coming on to spot number 13 is going to be Boathouse. Boathouse is also very contested. Probably in my book, the third most contested spot. The reason why I say that is because Sanitar spawns here with his goons too. There is an extract right here on the docks. It's a RNG. It's not guaranteed. Um, but if you have to make a quick extract, you could go there. There are some scavs here, one or two. I would avoid it if you can. Maybe you could pick them off from these rocks here because honestly, with tasks being done here, an extract being done here, and the possibility of Sanitar and his goons being here, a lot of people are going to come here. All right. So I would kind of just avoid it altogether. Spot number 14 is going to be probably one of the earliest contested spots because coming from the east side of the map, everyone comes here first usually for their scav kills or they'll run straight to resort. So if you're coming this way, you might want to check it. But if it's, I mean, it's, it's worth the shot, you're going to have to traverse this way anyways. So you might as well just check. If it's late raid, sometimes I'll check or I'll just come straight here to spot number 15. All right, guys, spot number 15 is probably going to be one of my most favorite spots. And the reason why I say this is because scav spawns don't spawn in right away, typically. So anybody here that spawns on the east side of the map is strictly running to radio tower and then resort or water station. OK, this is probably one of my most favorite spots because there's always scavs here guaranteed because they don't spawn in right away, which means these guys aren't going to wait here for them to spawn in. They're just going to go ahead and go run through. So when you come in this way, it's a great spot to kill some scavs. OK, this site Spot number 15 is going to be called Dump Site. I call it Dump Site because there's a lot of trash in this area. I mean, I haven't really heard of anybody else called the Dump Site, but that's just me. We're going to go ahead and come here. There's some scavs on the street and then a few maybe in the uh, in the actual Dump Site itself. I've seen anywhere from, you know, two to four in this area. The last and final spot is going to be spot number 16. Spot number 16 is going to be this whole area here. So there's an extract here and an extract right here. There's When you come here, there's going to be a yellow, like two-story uh, like sniper nest here. You're going to hopefully see a scav in there or right next to the bus stop here or along this side down the street, you're going to see some scavs here or one or two along this tree line here. Um, I'd be careful taking him out. If you've come from west to east, you probably kill a lot of scavs already. I would either just dip out or you could try to take them on. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt though. Uh, because they're in that tower, they have good coverage. It's hard to get them out. If they're out in the open on the street, it's easy to kills. But usually this is hard. 
especially on the tree line too. Again, it's tree line. It's it's the it's not like a straight flat tree line. There's a lot of hills, a lot of bumps, so it's gonna be hard to spot them usually. So I would probably just stay clear unless you're ever coming from this side of the map all the way down and extracting. You might be able to get a quick peek, kill a few. I've seen just them just chilling two, three, just chilling here, hanging out by the extract. And then it's easy to get some kills. All right, guys, that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the actual live portion where I show you this, what they look like. And yeah. All right, guys, we ended up spotting right here, right next to the path to lighthouse. It's right there. That's the extract. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do this left. Okay. All right, guys, we're here at spot number one. Spot number one isn't too difficult to get to. Usually when you're going on the outside of the map um, and you're trying to go to path to lighthouse, um, you will usually run this way. Um, right next to the border right here. And then what's gonna happen is two scavs somewhere here, usually, will typically, will go ahead and start blasting you from nowhere because it's hard to see them, but they're here. So if you get the chance and you hear their little sound calls and whatnot, then uh, you'll be able to sneak in and get them. All right, so just for your bearings, the uh, swamp is right there. This big old rock with this case right here is gonna determine um, spot number one, all right? All right, guys, we are here at spot number two. This is going to be, I call the the truck spot because there's a truck there, obviously. Um, usually, I've seen two scabs run up in here, and uh, they're kind of dumb because you're wide open. Uh, but just bear in mind, you're wide open also. You're out in the open, so they're fairly easy to kill if you can get them right away. Um, or you can hide behind these major rocks right here or in the bushes if you can. So the bearings on this is going to be the resort is right there. I usually come this way when I'm leaving resort or when I'm going to uh, their third location, which I'll show you right now, which is uh, Sniper Rock. After that, uh, one of those two routes, I come here, check this area, and then, yeah. All right, guys, here is Sniper Rock. If you spawn in from this side, you have a higher advantage, so you're able to see them, but they're usually right here. Two of them are right here, and there's usually one uh, one on the ground right here. So a total of two to three. If I found if I spawn from this side, I like to come up here, right here on these rocks, and then this is the bus depot right here. So the bus depot holds either one scav in here, one out there, right there where he ran at, and there's one usually out in the field, out in the open, right there. See him? <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is Buzz Depot. So here we ended up finding three scabs. Like I said, one right here. There's one that was in the building that ran out in the lot. And then that one right there. All right, guys. So now we're moving on to spot number four, which is going to be the resort. This is the entrance of resort right here, guys. Be careful because one of the bosses do spawn here. Um, but they are either inside this building, running out right here or inside that building right there. This is spot number five. All right, guys, so now spot number six is resort is right there. And then the water treatment facility is right here. Now, typically there's usually two scavs or one scab that spawn in that building. And then two to three that spawn on the ground level. And I'll show you where they're at right now. All right, so there's one right there. All right, three, like I said, right there. Moving on to the next spot, spot number seven. All right, guys, here's spot number seven. This is gonna be Sanitar's house. Um, Sanitar does live here. He's the boss of Shoreline. Sanitar isn't here. There's usually like one or two scabs that roam here. Not a whole lot, but I usually stay clear of this place anyways, or I'll toss some grenades in here to see if uh, the boys are home. But this is a heavily contested area because people are hunting for uh, Sanitar. So I kind of just stay clear of this area. This isn't an area that I would normally want to come to. Moving on to spot number eight is going to be Village. All right, guys, this is Village. Now, usually there's only one scab that spawns here. He kind of just hangs out here, kind of corridors the uh, gas station or whatever that's called in there. It's a, it's a little convenience store in there. So either if you're going to extract, go into Tunnel or you're extracting to go to the path to lighthouse, it's worth checking this area to see if that one scav is still alive here. I mean, it's a free scav, so why not? Moving on to the next spot, spot number nine, I believe. And this is gonna be, the scav location is gonna be right next to tunnel extract, okay? Now that we're done with this place, we're gonna go to our next location, which is right there. Scav Island, Scav Island is right next to tunnel to extract. You do need a quest over there, so a lot of people get their sugar in heaven here. There's a scav right there. 
I've seen anywhere from one to two. So sometimes it's good to take a little peek. Sometimes it's good to take a little peek out there. Right now we found two, so that's perfect. Now guys, we are moving on to our next location. If you guys are running this way to gas station. So if you guys are running this way from tunnel to, to Scav Island to gas station, there is this next spot right here. It's a hit and miss. Usually there's only like one and it's very RNG. Like most of the time I'd never see him here. Another location for this is called Spine because kind of like woods, it's rocks that are shaped into like a spine effect, okay? And this is spine, again, because it looks like a spine. All right, guys, be careful coming this way because a lot of spots right here is where a lot of people do their shooter born in heaven or there's people running over there doing their task over there. So they're trying to get their shooter born in heavens and a lot of times people will run that way to kill people. Here is gas station. Be careful coming through this area. Right there, you saw one scav there. And then usually there's one scav that sits in the little gas station. And then one that sits right here on the road. And that guy there surprised me. I've never seen two. Maybe like rarely seen two, but yeah. So one there, maybe one here, maybe two. But I've usually just seen one on the on this street. Next stop is going to be Boathouse. Now Boathouse, you can go two, one of two ways run down this street here, or another safer alternative is to run this way. You do make more noise though, like you heard. It's a lot safer than running straight out here in the open, okay? Now, this is Boathouse. Now, Boathouse has one cool feature, which there is an extraction right here at the docks, right there. All right, so you can go out there. It's RNG, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not. Um, yeah, so this is Boathouse. All right, guys, a few more spots left. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, we're here at Satellite, and we already heard some noises. So this is Satellite. Um, usually the scav spawn one to, one to three. He ran in there. All right, guys, so there's four here today. One, two, three, and the fourth one is over there. Okay, usually there's only, I've seen one to two. Uh, rarely have I seen three or four, okay? But this is another prime loot area for hunting scavs. Loot here isn't that good. I found a GPU in there one time, but this is primarily for scavs. For sure, for sure usually two spawn here. They usually stay around this area or sometimes walk to that house over there and then back. Moving on to our second to last spot. All right guys, satellite is right here. We're outside of the fence. We are gonna come straight here over this hill. And as you can see, there's the dump site all the way that way. So it's right here, okay? Coming up to the dump site, I've usually seen two to three scavs here. I usually come here mid to late raid only because if you spawn here in the beginning, oh. um, no nothing shows up for a while, okay? Early to late or late to mid, mid to late. Now, a lot of times, like you just saw, he they'll run across the street this way, sometimes even like close to the edge of this field here, um, or they'll run inside of here. Right there. Right there. I've seen anywhere from three to four here. Usually it's a good two. They come in duos, but they're usually here, okay? Moving on to our last location from dump site, we are going to go to uh, Railroad Extract, I'd call it. I don't know what it's actually called, I just call it Railroad Extract. It's a new extract I've put in the game just recently, um, brand new, uh, when they added the uh, Path to Lighthouse Extraction, okay? Kind of follow this road right next to the dump site all the way down, and there is the extraction for uh, Railroad. So it's, it's actually called Railway Bridge. We're not gonna be going to railway um, extract. We're gonna go to uh, road to uh, customs. Next spot is gonna be here. Be careful coming this way. There are scavs right here and here. It's usually one or two that are right here or in the tower or they're over here. Sometimes they're in these tree line right here on the right, but I found three. 
sitting here at the extract right there. I'll show you where. All right, guys, we are here at uh, Road to Customs. Now, surprisingly, there was no scavs over there and there seems to be no scavs here. That's all the extractions. I think it was 14 or 15 locations where scavs are gonna be at, but that's gonna end it for, for this section here, guys. Thanks so much. All right, guys, and that is it. That is our shoreline guide. Now, if you, um, I would really, honestly really appreciate it. I'm new to making YouTube videos. Uh, I would honestly really, really appreciate some feedback. So again, like, subscribe, you know, I would really, really appreciate it. But honestly, leave some feedback would be more important on if I should make this video longer, shorter. If you want me to just cut up Map Genie all together and then go strictly for IRL portion, or do you want me to cut out the IRL portion and just go over Map Genie so you guys have a quick idea? Um, I wasn't sure how to do this video. I was originally gonna do it with just the Map Genie location, but I know my visual person, so I personally would have liked to see the IRL version. So I decided to make both and I'll leave it up to you guys for future videos on how you guys want to do it. Um, but I really, really appreciate it guys. Again, like, subscribe means the world to me. Until next time, peace.